Hey friends of mine, this is step nine in the Mastering Your Year series. My name is Alina Dumpt, for those of you who are new around here, and I love digital planning. This is a 10-step series, and step nine is devoted entirely to tying up loose ends. This is essentially a quick and easy start to preparing for the year ahead, or perhaps you've just gotten a new planner and you'd like to start fresh. Right here is a great place to start. That being said, make sure to go back and watch the previous steps if you haven't so that you are better prepared for this one. So let's talk about the extra blank pages that you find in nearly every digital planner where planner creators say, yeah, use this however you want. It's totally up to you, just free space. And I'm always just thinking, okay, what do you do with it? Especially in my planner, there's hardly a need for empty space because almost everything has been thought of but I can't account for certain personality traits that will impact what we each find interest in. So I've come up with a way to help you use these pages that hold a valuable piece of real estate in your planner. And we're gonna start by opening up Pinterest. Now, this won't be true for all of you, or maybe it will be, I do not know the statistics, but each of us probably created many Pinterest boards with things we are interested in doing in the future that we never just make happen. So for example, I have that goal to become more stylish, but that's a big project with a lot of pieces. And what do I actually mean by that? Like, what have I built up in my head as the pinnacle of that success? Let me show you how I'm brainstorming a whole section of my planner for this. First, I am going to look at my board, my curated style, and I'm just kind of getting the big picture and taking account of the things that were important enough to me that I organized it into Pinterest boards. So clothing, hair, and makeup are big for me. And I wanna just have pages for each of these that either educate me or just define my style a bit better. So we'll do clothing, then we'll do hair, then we'll do makeup. I also have never focused on dressing for the season, so I want to make real plans on my seasonal dress. So I'm gonna set up four pages for each season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And lastly, I wanna make sure to include accessories or the odd clothing item that reflects some quirky parts of my personality. For example, I'm a Ravenclaw, and I like the idea of repping my house, so I'm going to include little things here and there in my wardrobe that subtly reflect that. I also love Disney, so I may include clothing that reflects some of my favorite characters like Rapunzel or Aurora, maybe the Muses in Hercules. And I'm gonna put that down at the bottom as a quirky personality page. Moving on to project two, I'm going to present you with my Disney movie night list. I've always loved the idea of hosting Disney movie nights for my extended family, and I really wanna jump into that this year. I've decided to go by release date, so this year we're starting with Snow White in January, and I'm just going to plan out the movie night. I'm going to include decor, food, activities, to-do lists, such as like invitations, food assignments, um, girls' afternoon trips for prep, I also want to have pages for Pinocchio, Dumbo, Bambi, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, and Peter Pan. This just gives me the opportunity to kind of pre-plan these events that I really wanna do, but they just don't fit anywhere else in my planner. And my last little project I'm including is my seasonal bucket list. I've decided that I really wanna give each season their moment this year, and instead of getting caught up in the boring routines of life, I desperately wanna immerse myself in what nature has to offer throughout the year. I want to really experience that the flowers in the spring and the hot summer weather. I wanna cozy up in autumn and then really celebrate the holidays in the winter. I wanna build some traditions and I want my kids to have good memories throughout our lives and not just for like the big vacation moments. I'm going to create two pages for each season, and on the first page for each season, I'm going to include meals, desserts, drinks, and tablescape ideas. And then on the second page of each season, I'm gonna include crafts, activities, and decor. 
Thank you for joining me in step nine. In step 10, we'll be tackling the calendar for this year. Step nine has allowed us to personalize the empty space in our planner a little bit more. Now in step 10, we are going to pull all of this planning into a wonderful action plan for January and the first week of the year and the first day. This is going to be one of your most useful sections, so stick around for that next piece of the Mastering Your Year puzzle, tackling your calendar.